This video is brought to you by Minitool. What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use a Minitool, a movie maker. And for the people that don't know what that is, it is a free video editing software that you can use on your computer. Right here, you wanna click on this free download button. You can use this on Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 10, and 11 to get your copy of Minitool Movie Maker 6.0. So if you guys have installed it, Let's go ahead and get started right after the intro. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, this is Minitool Movie Maker 6.0. We have the user interface, which is pretty similar to most industry standards software for video editing. We have our preview right here, our timeline right here, where we're going to do all the cutting, the transitions, the effects, the overlays, the music, the sound effects, the audio, pretty much anything that makes your video as a whole. You're going to do that obviously right there. We also have this media button right here where you can find all the transitions, the effects themselves and so forth. Okay, so we're going to start off on the very top left where you can tell that this is the media bin where you can pretty much just throw in any kind of footage you want to use in your video. So you want to right click on here and then you want to import the footage that you want to use. So I just dragged in an old intro of mine. So you want to click this plus icon to insert that right here onto your timeline. You can press the space bar to go and pause the playback. So right here, it will also tell how many clips that you have into your project. We also have music right here which is really, really cool. We have all kinds of background songs. So if you're gonna click on here, you can just click this download arrow. Then it is going to download the song. You can click this plus icon to insert it. You will see it at the very bottom left underneath the video track. And that is pretty much how you insert the music as well. And right here we have zero pictures because we didn't import any JPEG or PNG files. So let's go ahead and import another file. All right, so for this one, I imported a photo. So I'm gonna click on the plus icon again, and it's going to insert it right here on to the next frame. So this is pretty much where you're going to apply the effects to. As you can tell, this is for the transitions. So let's go to the second tab for the transitions. And as you can tell, there are a lot of transitions that you can choose from. So let's go ahead and drag on this squishy kind of, you know, stain effect. And as you can tell right here on the bottom left, it is now inserted between our footage. So if I play this back, this is what it looks like so far. And then it's going to crossfade into the other file. So very, very cool transitions, very easy to import as well. So let's move on to the next one, which is the effect tab, which obviously gives us a lot of color grading options. So if you are having a clip that you shot in S-Log or V-Log, which is pretty much almost with the saturation taken off, you can also just color grade them manually right here. So if I'm going to click on the plus icon, as you can tell to the photo right here, it's going to color grade that exact photo. It is important that you will tweak some of like contrast and anything like that just to make it look more realistic. But you guys get the point, really, really cool and easy transitions to use, effects to use, color grading. We also have all kinds of other types of filters. They will give you previews. So obviously, what is a video editor without any text features? So obviously this one is packed with titles and animations all pre-animated for you. So you can just click on the download arrow and then you can just drag them into your project customize your text by for example typing your name right here just like that and then it is all automatically done with the movement so if you can tell if i play it back there is the animation of course, we also have end credits if you're editing a movie and you want to credit all the people involved. Right here, we also have a motion tab, so you can just move certain elements across the screen if you don't want to take the time to go and use like complicated keyframing options. That's very, very cool. And right here, we also have elements such as stickers. We have, you know, a sun. We have probably also subscribe overlays. So, oh yeah, there you go. I knew that they would have it such as a subscribe button. It's very, very cool. So if I play this back, it's always oh, even animated as well. It's very, very nice. So as you can tell, guys, this software is packed with really, really cool stuff. Totally for free, like I just mentioned. You just go to the website, get your copy, install it right away, and then you can start putting all your videos in. The audio, you got stock footage and stock music that you don't have to worry about, you know, about getting copyright issues. And then you can just put your video together, put also the stickers on it, because it's very important nowadays to put some call to action, either at the beginning or at the end of the video, like the subscribe button. We also have the other types of overlays, as you can tell right here. So if I drag this one onto the timeline, as you can tell, this is a subscribe overlay. 
very very cool obviously you have to do a little bit of sorting but you guys get the point it looks really really cool and this is pretty much how to use the actual movie maker from mini tool guys thanks a lot for watching if you guys want to go ahead and explore the entire program for free for yourself check out the link down in the description and if you're done editing you can go ahead and click on exports and that will obviously show you all the options such as the file name the format mp4 you have all kinds of formats to choose from we have avi we have mov we have mkv we have gifs we have even mp3 so sound only wmv the whole thing we also can save it to a destination that you can choose custom for ourselves. We have formats such as iPhone, Galaxy Note, and that's pretty much how to go and export your video, how to edit it. So guys, I can keep going on forever, but obviously this software is that advanced that this video would be way too long. So I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks again for liking and subscribing on this video. And I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next video.